everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So here it is, last battle against the Reapers. This is the battle against the Red Reaper and hopefully the Night Gaunts will be able to pull this off. Alright, here we are on the ground and it's a four skull mission battle against Word, Word of Blake. So they've got six units per lance. And so the map board is actually a half decent size here. Um, however, I was only able to land on half of it. So they got a lot of guys, <laughs> I have a feeling. Either they got a lot of guys or they're just, they have two lances that are really well spread out. Uh, I got a feeling it's more than two lances, but we'll see. Because um, it's one of those missions where, I know it's only four skulls, but it, it's like low salvage. So low salvage missions for battles are usually tougher. So I'm going to see here what happens. Now, we do have uh, a bit of repairs done since the last time. So I was able to get the Vulture kind of the headgear back to where it was, roughly. Uh, it's not 100%, but uh, it's close enough. I'm going to start with some incendiaries here. So we're going to move up. Most of the mechs managed to um, come back okay. However, the Timberwolf, we had a lot of problems with the Timberwolf. We, lo we lost the Goss Rifle uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So this is a, a loadout that seemed to fit okay with the Timberwolf and I, I, the damage potential for this is relatively low in damage output but what it does in causing um, stacking EMP uh, on enemy is ridiculous so we have four light PPCs on this thing plus capacitors right so it's got a misfire chance, but the uh, the cockpit in here automatically, because it's a um, it's a clan uh, targeting computer, automatically reduces the misfire chance by 10%. So it's only halved. And then the pilot that we have on this, I think, has got gunnery eight or nine blade. Oh, he might have 10. In which case, the the jam chance is only going to be like 1% on these. So it should be. I haven't tested this out yet, so it could be bad today. We'll see how it goes. And then we've got two pair of LRM tens, each with a ton of. Um, EMP ammo, which not only um, creates a stacking stacking EMP um, and sensor degradation against the enemy, but also reduces their heat sinking capability, which we can then capitalize on with all of our incendiaries and AC5, like powered AC5s and stuff. So I'm hoping that works out today. We'll see how it goes. I thought I would try a different loadout. I'm not as thrilled with these Timberwolves as I thought I was going to be. There's I can't get a lot on them. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. So let's just move that up here. I'm gonna push along this way here, because this is the edge of the map. So if there's guys here, I want to encounter them first, and then we'll sweep this way with the rest of them. I don't want to like move up and then get flanked from both sides. I want to clear out one side and only be facing the enemy on one side. So this Timberwolf's still the same. Moving out. Uh, yes. So here's the Kodiak. I got the Kodiak up and running. Its armor is almost completely maxed out. I wasn't able to get a lot on this. We do have a 400 um, engine on this, which basically eats up half of the weight or more. We do have a supercharger and a Guardian ECM on here, so I can turn this on when I want to go a little faster, like walk a little faster. Um, I don't really have any melee things for this, so I was only able to get a certain number of things on. So we've got a pair of ER PPCs, one on each arm, an ATM-12 with three tons of ammo, so it's like 15 turns of firing, and then the, the Ketusha rocket launcher because I... I uh, let Fistledor know that I was going to throw this on and, and test it out. I think this weapon is a bit OP. Um, but in the terms of the loadout for this particular mech, it really isn't. So, like this thing, it says it'll do like over 2,000 damage. But I think this fires, it says it fires a salvo 20 unguarded rockets. Although it's got 180 shots. So, um, it fires 20 times, I think over the course of nine turns, although it says it's a one-shot weapon. So I don't think it fires them all in one shot. We'll find out as we go. But it's got a, we got a half-decent speed here for um, being a 100-ton assault. we got a 4-6 movement, so the just going to run it up. Back. I'm not going to put the mask on just yet. And we'll get our lighter guys up here in front. Hopefully we can get some sensors on the enemy earlier rather than later. Vulture can move up. Gonna spread out shortly. I'm not gonna do it just yet. I want to make sure this guy's as far forward as we can get him. Don't need to tell me twice. Yep. The lighter mechs are gonna engage probably early, and then the heavier ones, and then we'll pull them back. Excuse me. 
and then the heavier ones will move up. So I was able to rebuild the bandit. Um, I did have parts, so we were able to get this thing back up and running. Now, I, I was going to drop more. I was going to drop more vehicles, but I'm at my tonnage limit here. I, I, can, I can only drop a limit of 600 tons. I don't have the fully expanded weight yet. I've got eyes on hostile All right, so here we go. They're heading your way. They got reinforcements already. We got guys here. Sturm Blitz Assault Gun. I've never seen that before. Hopefully it's not what I think it is. And is that it? That's it so far. Oh wait, we got somebody back here. What do we got over here? Perseus. Okay, so I should be in, hopefully experiencing a lot of mechs and stuff that I haven't uh, experienced before. I wonder... I'm wondering... Do we move up or do we... Oh, we got more guys over here. Oh, wait, wait, what? Got guys back here too. Infantry Goss field gun. That's built in? And what's in here? So it looks like we've got ground units. Well, that's interesting. I think before we do anything, we got to take these guys out. So let's do that. We'll use our fast movers to get back here and take these guys out. I don't want to engage with the uh, with the mechs if these guys are still kicking around. So we've got something in here. I have no idea. Not something else in there too. Okay. Well, at least it's building reinforcements. So what's the 150, eh? Let's keep the incendiaries for later. I know it'll do more against the hardened target, but I would rather use it against mechs if we can. There we go. One less turret. Nice. Okay, so that was like a scout vehicle or something. Standing by. And I just click reserve by Have accident. I can hear them moving. Just can't see them. What's up, boss? Uh, I'm going to reserve you. Without a lot of sensors on, I would rather at least... Okay. Something we gotta take care of. Probably an arrow. Or maybe not. Yeah, arrow four. I'd rather have at least an idea where the enemies are before yes, we move in against them. Alright, let's get you back. So there's three units here. What's Location what here? Confirmed. What is what? All right, we've got infantry MRMs, MRMs, Goss. Let's take care of the Goss. All right. Acknowledge. Okay. Brought it down. Yeah. Excellent. Don't mind a bit of splash damage, but, uh... Oh, we're right beside a power generator, too. That's probably a bad thing. We've got a couple of them here. Alright, who's next? Yes, Commander. How fast are you? Timberwolf Pride. Prime, I mean. Did we not kill the guys over there? We destroyed the building, but we didn't kill them. Because, of course. Alright, let's get some height. Let's deal with these guys first. Somehow we targeted the object and not the... What? 
How does that work? Firing on target. So I guess you gotta destroy the building? I guess we destroyed the object in the building. I this all day. So I guess the building's gotta go. Okay. Fair enough. Seems a little weird, but... It's the Perseus. Let's move forward. Okay, who's up? Ah! Let's just deal with damage to these guys. Come on. Let's get this one done. Let's not use any ammo unless we have to. Sturmblitz. All right. Well, at least it's uh. Waiting on you, Commander. At least it's not shooting. On my way. So this should be the end of this building. Save the ammo. Here we go. I did forgot to turn my AMS on. Gotta remember to do that. So we just got the one building left. That's accurate. With uh, seven I chevrons of evasion. What was it that shot? That's what I want to know. Waiting for orders. All right. Well, let's get this last building done. See, the chance to hit on this is, is pretty darn good. Roger that. Target confirmed. Okay. Put it down, so those guys are cleared. Hopefully there's no more ahead. I hear you. Move up here, see if we spot anybody. Yeah. Nobody up there? Nope. Brace. Receiving you. So those guys are way down there. Let's get up here. There's got to be at least 12 of them on the board here. Okay, I'm getting sensors on. Here looks like two of the same. Two Perseus, probably. Okay, we got some good vision here now. So we got the artillery. Nidhogg. Another Nidhogg. Perseus. Perseus. Sturmblitz. Gladiator. Not so bad. Helopolis. That was probably what fired. Corsair. Alright, so it doesn't seem to be too, too bad. That doesn't mean there's not more guys in buildings or anything, but... Alright, let's, um... Shoot the Padilla, I guess? Sure. Firing. And of course he's got AMS. Alright. Well, you know not to shoot him again. Ready to get it on. I get you. On the move. Alright, I gotta decide how I wanna run this now. I think we need to like see the issue is the avenue of fire down here, right? I gotta have eyes on. We've got the range. So if we can get them to come out here somehow. Commander. We still gotta move up though. Ah, do I group up up the street though? I mean we gotta stay away from the power. On the move, full speed. Learned that in the last mission with uh, Dragon's Rejects. I'm not going to fire anything just yet. We don't have infinite ammo, so... So these are when we get close and have a better chance to hit. Plus, we got to get that Kodiak up there. Get that armor to the front. 
something you want done? Can you clear this street? You cannot. So stay behind the building here. Let's move. Hopefully get more sensors on. Now we lost the, some of those guys back there a bit, but that's fine. I don't know if we will. I'm, I'm iffy about this bandit. I might pull it back this Good turn. I'd like to be able to um, push him a bit more. Roger, full speed. But I think pulling them back is probably wise. It'll bring them forward a bit more. I think. I have no idea what these Perseus are, either. So, gotta be careful about that. Yeah, see, I gotta watch the lanes of fire. Like, that's indirect, but still. We can get caught in a crossfire here. That's a Ost War. Okay. Not so bad. What can I do for you? Not so bad. Let's get the Talos up. Let's uh, get our AMS on overload. I haven't decided who I want to overheat just yet. Probably the Perseus, Standing I guess. By. Arm crow. Stay away from the power. Yeah, it was unfortunate I targeted the the actual unit in the building and destroyed it, but it still exists because the building was still there. It's a little weird. Okay, bring you up. I probably should click uh, these back on. I mean, we could go after a Nidhogg. That's the arrow, of course. Light damage, Commander. Well, the one good thing about that thing being up there on you, is at least it's helping them expend a bit of ammo before they uh, start targeting the rest of us. That's the gladiator. So is that the? Yeah, that's the uh, the forty-five tonner or whatever. Okay, so he's rounded the corner. Where is he? Okay, we should be able to kill him next turn. I'm receiving you. That's good for us. I did I did retain the jump jets on this, although it's like really no uh, jump. It's one of those things where if I get stuck up up somewhere, that I need to move commander. down a hill real quick. I can just quickly jump down. Cause this thing is so damn slow. Good to go. All right, let's um, start on this guy. He's given us the opportunity, so let's take it. We've already lost a bunch of uh, armor here. Plus, we'll be able to find out if he's got um, AMS here. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of armor. Acknowledge. Looks like a, uh, what's it called? Stern Bull, Stern, what? I know it says Stern Blitz, but there's a German 150 millimeter Damage is light. Um, mortar, uh, mortar artillery piece built on a, like I think it was a Panzer II chassis. It's in, it's in War Thunder. It just fires massive rounds. It's one of those ones that fires a massive high explosive round that pre pretty much deletes stuff at its battle rating. Then of course you have to wait for the reload, but it's open top so planes Order. can strafe it and all kinds of stuff like that. Alright, let's get on this guy. Clear the fire lane so the rest of us can shoot, turn our armor towards the rest of the enemies. Interested to see here. So, there's multiple fire modes on these. So we got rapid fire, 3 times 15 which gives it a chance for 20% misfire chance, but that's mitigated by gunnery. We got gunnery 12 on this guy. Um, it's hard to say how what the jam chance is going to be here. 
damage so it's like over yeah capacitor and then regular so if we switch modes the heat kind of changes but I'm gonna go standard just for now so we don't damage it or get it get it out of the game early and I got to leave these off we're gonna save those for the mech actually we got 12 turns of firing so yeah I, I haven't seen anything dangerous that well that dangerous on the board just yet so let's just go this route get some stack and EMP on this guy Confirm. so his sensors are fucked I'm really hoping to use this Timberwolf in, in those situations where we've got a really deadly accurate enemy that I can just fuck up real quick what can I do for stop you? him from hitting us um, Move to here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. So yesterday the Dragon's Rejects, I forgot to show you guys the rifleman. I, I reassembled that the hero rifleman that we picked up. Uh, let's do this. And uh, yeah, so it's a 70 70 ton rifleman. And um, it's a beast, man. Knocked out a vehicle. Blow up. Yes. So yeah, that's a unit of six. So um, yeah, it's a 70-ton uh, rifleman. It's got ballistic in each arm. Sorry, laser in each arm. One ballistic in the right, two ballistic in the left. It's got a missile point in the right and on the left torso. I think it was the left torso. This guy's going to come around that corner, is he? Well, we might as well take him. Commander. Um, and then it's got several laser points in the torsos as well bunching up a little bit here let's pull into this spot right there on my way double time yeah so it's actually pretty good so I was testing some loadouts with it what I would run with it and it's like I could run two ER PPCs two clan ER PPCs and a clan Gauss rifle and have uh, two well three is a Mackie 6s so we could have um, Waiting for orders. Three pinpoint 75 damage weapons on it. Get up to here. Going turbo. Um, so we could have three pinpoint damage, 75 uh, damage weapons on it. I can put the PPC capacitor on it so that damage can go up to 90 for two of them. And then it's built in um, fire control system is. Uh, plus five to hit at extreme range plus two to hit at long range um, plus one at medium range I think it was and then minus one at close so we could turn it into a like a long range firepower boat with the PPCs and the Gauss rifle or we could lose the Gauss and I could drop a pair of ultra fives on it so that's the, that's the other option. So what is this guy? That's the Perseus. Take a pot shot at this guy. So we got... So it doesn't look like it's that heavily armored. I'm still more of over. this. So AMS, okay. Just probing them just to see what they got here. So there's a lot of options for that uh, rifleman. Thanks for the covering fire. Got seven of them. Nice. Okay. Order. That's probably against the Nidhog. Sure is. Sure is. And I'll take that. I'll take that shot. Wow. Maybe not with these. Well, I mean, we've got what? 14 turns with those. I think we're probably okay. Let's take a pot shot. Engaging. Okay, a couple shots. Got rid of the building anyway. Got rid of the building. Right. 
It's a chance of shooting my own guy in the back here, you think? Affirmative. Should we find out? That should be fine. Famous last words. I didn't take um, extended range with the uh, IATMs. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, getting a clearer shot at the enemy anyway. Yes, Commander. Whether that helps out or not, I have no idea. Okay, let's get over here. Might as well take the pot shot as well with the Storm Crow. I think I might leave the missiles off this time though. Well, 23. I'll take that. Copy that. One of the lasers landed, that's nice. Okay, early damage in the Nidhogg, that's nice. That's nice, eh? That Holopolis, man. So far away. I wonder if I should go on a, on a, on a run with the, uh... Let's get up to here. I wonder if I should go on a run with the, um... The bandit, see if we can get back shots and kill that guy, because he's kind of strung out there all by himself. If I can sneak by here, I think we'll try that. They all seem to be fixated on the bandit. Most likely because that's all they can pretty much see at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna go after that guy. He's too accurate. He's too accurate. So we're gonna go target him. Alright, now we need to be careful here. Yeah, if we go this way, we're gonna catch fire from the flank. But if we go this way, we can at least shoot straight down here and not worry too, too much from these guys. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang a Louie here and head over this way. Let's get over here. Good to go. Wonder if I should lob a couple of low chance to hit against this thing and burn up its uh, AMS early. I think we'll do that. I'm gonna drop an LRM20 on it. Off. Let him burn through his AMS. So when we have the better chances to hit and we're dumping stuff on him. Or people are on people around him. At least he's not eating them up all our rounds. So that's a Nidhogg Goss rifle, eh? I've done a lot of damage to this guy yet. Oh, at least he's coming in visual range. Did he turn? He turned. Maybe turned his armor. So he's got ATG abs. Two of them. And a Goss rifle. Receiving you. Alright. Let's... Do this. Because that thing in the middle of the road is basically blocking their sight. For, so they can't see straight past this. So we can at least get shots on their aircraft here. Nidhogg! Um, yeah, the heat in this is ridiculous. Hold off. Doesn't have the best chance to hit. This guy's a little better in close anyway, so... I'm interested to see how well he can impair people's sensors. But the EMP ammo... Like I said, not only impairs sensors, but reduces your ability to sink heat. So if we can find somebody that we can just do that to. And then dump a bunch of uh, 
incendiary ammo on them. We should be able to keep certain mechs burning up. Alright, do we want to go this route? Do we have Sam? I don't think we do have Sam on this thing. No, we don't. Not really. Could go standard. Yeah, I don't think so. It's still not enough. I think we need to take these guys down with lasers and stuff. Once we turn this corner, it'll be a different story, I think. Oh, he's not shooting. Waiting for orders. So that's a Nidhog shot, right? Yeah, let's get behind that barrier. Um, back a bit. Going full throttle. Not only am I using him as spaced armor, I'm also um, leaving room for other people to kind of go in front of him to shoot. Learning my lesson here. No, for people not being in the way. All right, 43% with the MRMs. Yeah, I think we go with that. Let's say uh, the sensor lock him first, though. This should really help out. Sensor lock the Nidhog. Oh, uh, those look. I bet you he's the rocket launcher, because he's got like ridiculous number of mi missile hard points. So it's bet you it's all rocket launching or rockets. I copy. We got nine of them too. Well, it's easier to shoot down the improved versions, so. I wonder what this guy's gonna do. Hopefully he goes soon. There he comes. Because I want to delete him. I can probably do that now. He's like basically revealed oh shit. He's actually revealed himself to us. Been having difficulty with the mouse lately. Get these little like I'm, I'm sure you've seen it. These brief little lag spikes. So I've been misclicking a lot. So here's this guy. So they got... They're in the Orion chassis, so that's interesting. So that was indirect. Good chances to hit, though. Oh, so we got a, he's got a building in the way here. So let's ignore him. Waiting on you, Commander. And I want to take the Nidhog down, so let's go here. Not so much worried about that swordsman as I am Moving this freaking rocket launcher here. This guy. Um, you want to use some uh, bolt-on rockets? A lousy chance to hit. All right. Time to die. Wow. Okay. We hit with more than that. Not all three of them would have hit. Commander, you're a little bit behind. It's fine. On the move. Okay, forget about the guy. However tempting this is. We gotta kill this guy. 20%, huh? We barely, like, not even half the front armor yet. Alright, you know what? Let's go with the good chance to hit. Or better chance to hit. And let's hope we don't hit our own guy. Don't shoot him in the back. Nice. Excellent. Maybe that'll scare him off next turn. Corsair. Ready for orders. Okay, you can see. Go here. On my way. Double time. Yeah, I think so. Keeps me hidden from those guys over there. I'm probably in one turn strike on this guy. 
All weapons are go. It's the one H. I just think I think he's just got a good pilot in there. Because he's hit twice now. Which for me is scary because if he starts targeting my, my bigger guys while we're clumped up, he's gonna start doing a lot of splash damage. So hopefully we can take him down with the bandit. I'm here. Alright, Rose, full speed. Actually, do I wanna go? You got two more turns before you can even like Oh, maybe one more turn before you reveal yourself. Okay. Just a little damn slow. I'll try the supercharger next turn to see how it works out. Speaking of slow, I wonder what that guy's doing. I hear ya. Get that AMS up here. Affirmative. And as tempting it is as it is to shoot between my guys, I am not gonna take that shot. Nope. If it was 80%, I might. Yeah, see, like, it's got to be the pilot. Once I close within a certain range, he can't shoot me anymore. Awaiting orders. I think he's got a medium laser as a backup, so. Okay, let's get to here. We're heating up pretty bad here, but that's all right. That's all right. We go with the overheat, or do we just drop these for now? Let's just drop those for now. Target locked. All right, we got one on. Not bad. He's going on 24 too, so hopefully it's enough to scare him off. Maybe he'll move away. I got a feeling he's going to close and fire though. He'll probably pull into here and fire. Nope. It's interesting. Well, that's the gas rifle guy. Okay. That was a heavy hit, Commander. It was. It's a gas rifle hit. So he moved forward. He's up the building. It's hard to tell. The other guy goes on twenty-four as well. Yeah, there's the rockets. Where's all my armor? It's, uh, still on you. The guy in front of you took most of the damage. I don't know what you're talking about. The spaced armor took most of the damage. Yeah, you run. You just run. Oops. Holding for tactical advantage. That was a right click, by the way. I didn't left click there. That's all right. We'll get you in a second, buddy. I'm still wondering if there's like waiting for orders. Going to be enemy units in buildings here somewhere. So they've got a ramp here too, which means I've got a little more cover than I thought here. So let's go here. On my way. Get on this Nidhog. No matter which one it is, we've got to get on one of the two. And fire. Roger that. Nice. It's panicking. Who do we got next? Yes, Commander. Okay, Marlin. Same thing, same target. Affirmative. You got more armor, so let's get you closer to the front. Now, do we go after this guy? He's the rocket guy. Wow. Not as good chance to hit, but we gotta take it. Let's warlord this. Turn it up a bit. See if we can take this guy down. Copy that. Well there goes the building. Nidhog's still there though. That's the Corsair. 
Ready for orders. Still see the Hog. Nidhogs. So let's get into here, get our stability back. And we'll target this guy again. And firing. firing a full wow, we're doing a lot of damage to the sides. Almost nothing to the front. So we blew through one of the sides. Don't know which side it is yet. Doesn't matter. Mackie not moving forward. Orders. Do we have... We got the juice. That guy's going to be able to see us, but we should have half decent evasion here. So let's keep it turned slightly like that. Confirm. Alright, buddy. Let's see what you got. Okay, it's going to be 78% chance to hit. Crank it up. I think he's got half decent back armor, though, if I remember correctly. Nope, he does not. <laughs> oh, he's got an SRM 6, really? Two mediums, an SRM 6, and a thunder? Oh, all one, all in one torso. Okay, so he's got an AC 10. LRMs. Losing armor. Yep, we all are. Just deal with it, buddy. Just deal with it. Here comes the arrow launcher. Hopefully we shoot it down. Apparently not. AMS is probably jammed. I'm a pounding, Commander. Losing lots of armor. That's not a lot of armor. When you take an AC-20 hit, that's a lot of armor. Oh, I'm bleeding, Commander. I see that. Hang in there. At least this guy can't see it. Well, he can still move and shoot. Yeah, see? Bastards. Is he gonna shoot? I wonder. Is he melee? Three energy hard points. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, Commander. Although he's at a point now where it's like, okay, so wait. If I turn the supercharger on, and I move, it only works for walking though. So it's. Oh no! I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, it works in the sprint. I thought it would just I thought it just worked in walking. God. Do I Let's see what our chance to hit is. I don't like shooting past a guy like this close. We're in a pretty good position to win this though. It's a solid red line, though. So technically, I shouldn't be hitting this guy right here. No, nah, it's too close for me. Too close. He's, like, standing right in front of me. Yeah. You panic. <laughs> you panic, bastard. Okay, we're going to get into here. So I can see over top of this ramp. I guess there must be a height now to the max, because some of them you can see over, some of them you can't, I guess. All right, well, we're going to go after this guy. Switch to improved. Hopefully we get him. Let's actually go with control bursts. Reduce that recoil slightly. Going to use the narc on him and fire. He's dead. See ya. 
and then he was no more. Good to go. He appeared to have vanished from the face of the earth there. Can I get a shot in that guy over there? I cannot. Let's just get in here and get the uh, AMS working. Moving fast. We may have been out of AMS overload range. This guy seems to have a limited range on his AMS here for some reason. I noticed some of them got a, like a wider berth for the AMS. I don't know what that what that's all about, but waiting for orders. All right, let's do this. Not the right rep weapons for this, but we're using it anyway. In Plus 13 heat. Damage. Reduced his uh, heat sinking by 13%. Commander. Enjoy it, Fouquet. Yeah, see, this guy can't shoot over these. But the Vulture can. That's interesting. I like how they've been able to cal do the calculations for that. Let's get into here. Let's kill this mech. He's too close to us. He's got to go. He's got to go. Look at the chance to hit on that. Copy that. Have a seat, buddy. Scored a critical hit. All right, one more. We should be able to take him out. I'll probably put the other, uh, I'll probably put the Nova on him. Or sorry, the, um, the other Storm Crow. Ooh, hit the, hit the uh, statue. Who is that? This guy? Yeah. Thank you for closing the distance. I appreciate that. Aye, aye. Makes things a little easier for me. Get into here. Roger that. Get our stability back. Wow, really? Do more damage with the incendiaries. We don't have a lot to overheat, so. Giving him everything I've got. He's got a lot of rockets. I think his AMS is done too. Reporting. I think we just straight up shoot this guy. Wilco. No, we still got some some AMS, not a lot. Reporting critical hit. Still going. All right. It's a tough bastard. I'll give him that. Get to here. Roger. Let's try something here. We're gonna go after this guy. And then we're gonna turn two of these off. And we'll switch two of them to damage mode. We'll go that route. So that actually gives us a pretty good chance to do some okay damage here. It's it's, it's about Three quarters of the damage I would have done with all four of these for less heat. So it's not too bad. It gives us a bit of flexibility. That maybe that'll be a kill there. Yep. And then he's gone. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Nice. So it's probably a bad mission to test out those PPC capa and plus capacitors. I gotta find a way to get more heat sinking on this. We're almost flush if I don't fire the uh, if I don't fire the LRMs. So, it's just, just no weight. I've got an exchanger in there. And I've got... Um, took a hard hit there. Like a, like a double plus exchanger and a heat bank plus in there. So it's already doing its best, like, CT-wise to heat sink as much as it can. I just need a, 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 a prototype double heat sink kit, I think. He's gotta go away. 
Lopolis, like, making sure I can't get to his back. It's kind of nice. Damn. Damn, shoot down, shoot down, shoot down. Don't fall. Okay, he's going on 18. Standing by. Are we got super? Are we supercharger on here? We are. Let's turn it off. I can't get anybody over there. We'll go here. Moving out. Starting to be able to move up. Hopefully, we can finish this guy off. Save the ammo. Wasn't much left of that guy. Enemy eliminated. Who is that? Oh, the Holopolis. Okay. He's trying to, like... Yeah, he's tied up with the, um, the bandit. He's worried about the bandit now. What are you doing? Ah, damn it. Have a seat, buddy. We'll get to you at the end of the match. Oh, sorry. We'll get to you at the end of the, uh, turn here. Damn it. All right. Some yeah, they don't like the double ER PPCs. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, not the best. You got it. Max speed. Let's move no here. Go after this guy. Switch to incendiary and firing. Here we go. Uh, we didn't land any of them, but at least a medium laser hit. At least a medium laser hit. That's fine. Wait, who's that? Some motherfucker that was stealth. That was a guy at stealth. All right. Some stealthy motherfucker. Okay, let's get on this guy. Now, um... We go damage, or what do we do with this? I think we go damage. Let's just fire. Okay, the narc's on this guy. Corsair. Huh. A little bit of damage on the bandit. Wish I had, um... Commander. Yeah, I wish I had, uh, what's it called for this guy? Um, incendiaries. But, I don't. No matter what we do, we're going through fire, so let's go here. Um... Present armor this way, I think. Roger. Now, um, 87. I think we try it. Firing nope. I should have just shot. Next time we just shoot. Commander? Hi, right, buddy, you good? You good. Back on my feet, Commander. Yeah, you alright. You alright. Um. Holy shit. That way's probably not a way to go, though. Let's do that. <laughs> Just for now, till we can get you the hell out of here. Let's not get cored. That was close. Yes, Commander. That was real close. What do we want to do here? 
This guy's got to go. He's the next target. Um, he's going on 19 though, right? So we've got 22, 22, 22, 20. We got four of us. 4v1. Is that going to be enough though? I have no idea how badly damaged this guy is. Let's move back here. This guy just seems to be, like, the lighter mechs are just going to be a target. So I'll just move him back out of the way. And I'm okay with shooting between my mechs here because I've got, um... Light weapon damage, so... Shouldn't be so bad. If it was a PPC, it'd be a... Ah, shit. It'd be a different story, but... Had to try it. Oh. Well, that actually really helps out. Apparently. Even though the evasion's unchanged, I guess it gives... I guess because he's partially, um... I had problems partially um, had a bad sensor roll. I guess that sensor lock removes that. At least it looks that way. Hopefully it applies for all four of my guys that are about to go. Aye, aye. All right, let's not get too hasty here. Get up to here. Understood. Moving fast. I don't want to get too far forward. Okay, we're going to get up to there. I think we do... That's a lot of heat, though. Let's do it. I want to mess up this guy's sensors, so let's at least give it a shot. So hopefully it makes it super hard for him to hit. Okay, Marlin, um... Who goes after you? Stormcrow. Who's, like, really, really heated. So, let's move up to here. We're not taking this guy down this turn. Move order confirmed. Maybe we can knock him down, maybe? I don't know. Gonna drop one of these. We'll fire the rest. Alright, keep it on his left side. There's the knockdown. There's the kill. Okay. That was lucky. Ammo explosion. Okay. Build an case, which is a bonus for us. Now we've got this guy, this guy, and some hidden motherfucker over here. So wait a minute, that's one to two nit hogs. Okay, that's the yeah, that's that that's that side. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the arrow. Reporting. Heavy damage. Yeah. I'm taking a pounding, Commander! Reporting heavy damage. I'm taking some serious hits. Okay, you need to drop heat. We're, we're, because we're all bunched up here. I don't know how to spread out. Firing on target. Well, at least he'll take some burn damage. Who's left? We got the vulture left. That's the Perseus. He's a couple of turns from flanking us. Ooh, you're gonna step, eh? 75. I can't take much more of this. You're gonna have to. Good to go. Just stay there for now. They're getting close to flanking us here. At that point, we'll run. But <laughs> right now, just want to sit right here. That's a stealth, Waiting stealth of fract, I think. See if we can get sensors on that guy. 
There he is. There you are, you dirty bastard. It is a stealth effect. It is a stealth effect. Now, what are we, what's the chance on this guy? Pretty darn good. I think we go after the better target. Gonna use the incendiaries. Okay, both incendiaries hit. Wow, somebody really shot those down. He did. All out of short range That's 75 commander. heat and it barely touched his gauge. Still got the vulture left. I gotta worry about being flanked here. I really want that mad dog. Really want the mad dog. He's got to break out of there next turn. God damn it. What is that? Is that the Ostwar I'm seeing there? See what I mean? I clicked and then it just went to a different spot. It is. That's the guy I'm worried about. So let's vigilance this. Hopefully get a chance to go before the enemy next turn. Let's get into here. Leave ourselves turned sideways. Get on this guy. Interested to see how much heat damage we can put on this guy. Okay, not bad. Yes, Commander. Okay, we got some spaced armor now. Let's do this. Got some spaced armor. All right. See, this is like, okay. So the, here's the, here's the, uh, anyway, here's the thing. This thing is 20 tons, so all you have to do is add TSM to your mech to be able to use it. And it's zero heat. And it's basically like stacking nine heavy rocket launcher 20s on your mech. Although you can only fire one at a time. But I mean, look at it. It's still going. Does it just fire the whole thing off? It did. But why does it say it files, fires a salvo of 20? So that's how you delete Target stuff. My SRMs are out. So... Did that burn the whole thing? I guess it did. It did. It burns the whole thing in one shot. Okay. It's weird because it says one shot, but then it says fires a salvo of 20 rockets. Waiting for order. And when I went back and watched the video, it looked like it did just fire a salvo of 20 rockets. And I'm like, oh, it must only be shooting 20 of them and you get nine turns of firing. Which apparently is not the case. Now that I know. But still, it's a, it's basically a delete button. Because if they all hit, if you have a good chance to hit and they all hit, it does over 2,000 damage. On. So I don't know. Standing by. It's just one of those weapons, you know? Alright, you... Get our stability back. Get into here. Firm. I think it's better to go with two of these off. Now can we... Go damage mode? We can. So let's go this route. Roger that. Mess up his sensors, mess up his heat sinking. Standing by. So he's going on what, 18? We got several people here that can go way before him. 
It's a back shot. Let's get into here. This could end up very bad for us. I'm not careful here. Uh, let's go this route. Get on him. I know it doesn't help that much, but it does for heat. Uh, do we go standard or we go incendiary? Let's go incendiary. Let's add some heat. It might shy him away from using too much heat. I doubt it, but Receiving you. you never know. Let's move. Okay, get on him some more. Keep this shit going. Good chance. Fire it. Acknowledge. Okay, head hit. That really helps. Who's up? Okay, move this way. Same loadout, same firing as last time. Going with the heat, minus the rockets, of course. And the narc. Only 26 this time, but we didn't have rockets, so... Yeah, he hasn't even touched his gauge yet. At least he's standing on fire, so he'll be on fire when he moves. And he's going on 12 now, so... Perfect. He is making a break for it this turn. We're gonna send him down here. I should just turn the Kodiak on all those guys. I think that's what I'm going to do. Awaiting orders. Kodiak can go after those guys. Okay, Vigilance. Get into here. And can we fire everything? Yes. I think we will. If we can get that torso off him, I think that's where his AC is. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, he had a Gauss rifle. Nice. Connection, that one. I'm, I'm okay with the heat. Cook. We got his Gauss rifle. That's all that matters. I'll take the heat. There goes my cover for the uh, vulture. <laughs> He's standing there with his pants around his ankles. Whoops. Time to get the hell out of here. How close are they to... They're not that close to this side. He'll be in real trouble if the uh, Holopolis decides to shoot at him. I'm receiving you. All right. All right, we got to see what this Kodiak can do. Who do we want first? Everybody's a low chance to hit. Probably the Corsair with that ridiculous uh, ballistic weapon it's got. Let's go standard firing. Acknowledge. Nice. Two PPCs on. Alright, it can do some shit. They're banging through my armor. Yeah, I can see that. Good to go. I can see that. Where's that Corsair? Down there. I think I have to go after this guy though. As much as I want to help right, out. Commander. Gotta go after this guy. Do we go incendiary or do we go for damage? Damage is only 22. I'm better off with incendiaries. And firing. Okay, got his heat up a little bit. Who's up now? Waiting 
for orders. Go this route. Sprinting. I can't quite get away, but at least I can move to here where I'm kind of hidden. Because if I go over here and this guy decides to come this way, he might get to be able to get a sneaky shot on me. So I'd rather not go with, not, I'd rather not let him have the sneaky shot. Come on, don't step. Miss, miss, miss. Nice. Great. Beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you. Go away. Fuck. Someone's got to get on this guy now. They got good pilots. I'll give that to them. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, so I had a really brief comment about um, melee and what weapons should fire depending on your attack. And I still don't think if you're meleeing somebody, let's get into here, that any weapon should fire. So if you're punching somebody, if you've ever punched anybody, right, your upper torso turns to punch, how are you going to land any kind of weapon off your torso if you're turning to punch somebody? Because you got to put your weight into it. I assume it's the same would apply to a Mac. Right? Because the punch turns the torso, and as you're turning the torso, timing the actual firing of your weapons to make them accurate to hit the enemy is almost impossible. Considering you're trying to brace for impact at the same time. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But that's just how I feel. Just feels weird. Okay, let's get into here. Like this. And where are you? There you are. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to drop the PPCs for this turn. But we are going to hit him with the EMP. Uh, well, we're our next turn. Go on this guy here. Let's get him the E. Let's get the always oh, like look at that. Look at that. Maybe we get lucky and clink his head. Nah. Just let me mess up his heat though. Aye aye. Alright, buddy. Um This guy's almost toast, but we are gonna go for the leg. Here it comes. Or the CT, whatever works. That's a kill. Might as well destroy all the important components, you know? Alright, we're in cleanup. Corsair and Helopolis. Corsair first, Helopolis second if we can. Well, better shoot you in the back than in front of you. AMS Commander. is saving the day, man. So it's Monday up here. I'm, st I'm recording this back to back with the last episode that I recorded for the Dragons Rejects. So I'm like sitting here. I'm sitting up in my attic in the afternoon. Get the windows open, and it's like, yeah, you can smell that weed is legal in Canada <laughs> or in Ontario. Anyway, it's uh, yeah, Firing all weapons. it's flowing freely this week. Just wish, I would just wish people wouldn't be driving well under the influence of cannabis. That, that rating has gone way up too. I'm all for the legalization, as long as people follow the rules, but people just get stupid and they'll follow the rules. It's kind of annoying. Good to go. You know, it just makes sense to not, you know, drive while Double you're impaired time. in any way. Even being tired, you know? Don't drive when you're tired. I've done it in the past. And uh, I don't do it anymore. Waiting but, you know, you just got to not do it, you know? All right, let's get you up here. He hit you with a lot of damage, but it uh, doesn't really seem to be showing on your body. So let's keep moving forward and keep hitting this guy. Um, yeah, difference between HE and that's a little different. Not much, though, so... Confirmed. There goes the leg. Scarred a critical hit. Look at this Mackie. Spaceman helmet. 
This is the Ost War. Missile 2 energy, okay. I don't know who's going to kill the Holopolis, but someone's got to do it. When does he go? I oh, have no idea. Because we get, uh, if we got an LRM that goes before him, we might be able to plink his back. Oh, we got to kill this guy too, I keep forgetting. Okay, we should have shot down the arrow. I can't take much more. Ah, took a heavy hit there. Don't you freaking bail out. You did it once before, don't do it again. Alright. Got a back shot. You wanna narc this guy? Probably, because I got a feeling. We'll be shooting him from range. Well, yeah, we'll be shooting him from range. Let's knock him. Actually, I don't think this is going to make a difference, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, a little bit of difference. And last little bit of incendiary. Hopefully, we are able to pierce that uh, one back torso and do enough damage to make him blow up. All right, we've got his one side anyway. Yeah, if Rose, uh, or, sorry, if, um, if we hadn't got the bandit back there to uh, harass that guy, he could have done some good damage from long range. That could have been scary. There we go. See if we can get his head. Nope, definitely got... Oh, we did! <laughs> Took his head clean off. Took his head clean off. Yeah, he's moving already. All right. Yes, Commander. So, okay, here we go. Quick look. So I can kick, punch, or charge from the front, and if I do that, I can charge him from behind. So that's broken to me, right? Because how do you run by somebody and then do a 990 degree turn and charge them from behind, yet... Like, and your damage also depends on how far you move, right? So, it's a little ridiculous. That being said, I'm not doing that, but... Awaiting I could if I wanted to, that's all I'm saying. Okay, let's get you into here. Like that. Work on killing this guy here. Firing a full salvo. MS don't help at point blank. MS doesn't help at point blank. Standing by. I blade. Let's get in the water. See how much that helps. We're in the water. We're zero heat. On this guy. Load everything out. Wow, really? That's pretty darn good. Looks like we've got a misfire on this one already. I probably didn't see it in the readout, but that's why it's turned. That's why it's down like this. I'm gonna switch that back to standard because I don't want it to to uh, destroy itself. Now firing. Affirmative. I've only got four of them, so I got no replacements. Wow, man, that's just crazy. Receiving you. I kind of like that loadout. It feels like it's underpowered to me, yet it does such a good job. Okay, let's move into here. We're going to kill the vehicle, but I'm going to sensor lock the Mackie. Don't think it matters, but... Lock. Oh, he did get one evasion. Okay. Let's go for the kill on this guy. Locked on. All wow, really? Critical hit, Commander. Wow. All right. I was seeing some orange damage off the uh, off the last guy that fired at him. So I was like, oh, okay. We penetrated, but I guess we didn't. That's fine. No biggie. 
No biggie. This is a cleanup mode anyway. So they got two guys at the back left. And this guy who's going to die this turn. The Mackie will probably go down hard and then the Halopolis right after. Standing by. So, if I turn the supercharger on, do I have the range to melee this guy? I do not. Let's get into here. Oh wait, we got another guy in there too. Let's go. I keep forgetting about this Ostwar. He really isn't doing much this battle, so it's like I keep forgetting keep keep forgetting he's there. Copy that. How you like it's me now? Hit, Commander. Yeah, he's not doing much. I wonder if there's a way to program in a role for a mech. So, for instance, like heavy and assault mechs would be like knowing that their role is to to like to um, push forward and attack with as many of their um, direct go. fire weapons as possible, rather than hanging around the back and pot shotting people with a, like an LRM five or an LRM ten or something. They should be moving forward because their team is dying because of that decision, right? I'll fire at everything. Right? They're basically sacrificing their team so that they can pot shot with an LRM-10 or something, right? Move down. Which is frustrating, so... Commander? I haven't decided which mech the Red Reaper's in yet. Probably... Coordinate he's probably in the Lopolis. He's probably in the Oswar, if anything. He's hiding in the Oswar. That's why he hasn't engaged yet, really. So, since that's the case... We need to get Gatekeeper on him. Because that's the uh, that's his primary target now. Alright, we're going to leave the narc off. We're going to use it on the last guy. Switch this to LK. And we'll fire improved ammo and a PPC at this guy. Ooh, looks like he took one in the face there. He did. <laughs> There's a knockdown. And hopefully he's out. Is he? No, he resisted it. Okay. They got good pilots, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Waiting for orders. I actually kind of prefer that, you know, in some in some fighting situations. I kinda like it when the enemy pilots don't Court bail. Like if you're if you're fighting a fair match, you know, I kinda prefer if they don't bail because then at least it makes it, you know, um a half decent fight. Rather than them going down too early. Like this fight was a weird one. If this back unit had moved forward continuously, it would have been a different battle because I would have been battling guys here and here. But as it stood, I was able to kill all of the guys on this side and then turn this way, right? So it's just a failing of the AI to not be human enough to be able to capitalize on the situation it was in, right? You can't fault the AI for that. I mean, I gotta say, the, the Rogue Tech people have done a wonderful job with the AI for this. And firing. A lot of nothing. Um, Waiting for orders. But there's just some situations, like I said, where it's like you, you get those heavy mechs that just don't want to engage because they're standing back pretending they're an LRM boat or something, right? There should be the little checkbox that just says. This mech prefers to, you know, fire indirectly. If it can't, we'll fire orders. directly. You know? We gotta leave the uh, Ostwar for the uh, Vulture. I should just gangbang him, but... This is supposed to be the last fight, so... Get some EMP on this guy in case he decides to shoot. I think we killed his ammo, though, so I don't think he's got any ammo left for the... Uh, no, he still got he still got it. He's just not shooting it for some reason. Don't know why that is. Good to go. Let's get dropped that instability. Oh, you don't have any right now. It's braced though. He still got a beacon attached to his leg too. Commander. 
I don't know if that's um, on my way. if that's a uh, continuous thing. I thought a beacon only lasted for a couple of turns, but maybe I'm wrong. Receiving you. All right, let's move you up. Fun. Drop some missiles in that guy. Hopefully, hopefully we can kill the Halopolis first, but I doubt it. It's going to be a rare instance if we kill this guy first. Might as well warlord it. And fire. So a few people have asked me if I, like, I don't, you know, they can't run Rotec because it's too slow and all that stuff. I totally get it. My PC is not kick-ass either. It's it's mediocre at best. I mean, I, 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 it is a 6 core and I got 16 gigs of RAM and, and an okay video card. See, if that guy had closed earlier, it would have been a different match. Totally different match. I'm here. Uh, let's switch you to standard. Roger. Why can't I target this guy? Oh, you can switch the mode now. Oh, this because it's improved IETMs. Right. Okay, makes sense. I just thought it was a regular ATM, and I'm like, what? Okay, Mono at Ostmoro. Here we go. But before we start, I gotta get rid of my instability because uh, this thing has a very bad stability threshold. And it's a straight up fight. I'll take the first shot. Lost war, going to war. Gonna send a Kodiak down there to dismember that guy. Yes, come Everybody's gotta stay out of this. Bracing for impact. Gonna close with him. He'll probably melee me. Or he might charge me. I don't know. We'll see. Standard ammo. Firing. This is for all the torment you've put us through for the past few months. Yeah, you back up. Straight up fight, face to face. Commander, we're doing this. On the move. Okay, let's go after this guy back here. Firing. Target confirmed. Someone's gonna get the kill. I don't know who it's gonna be Commander? yet. It's not gonna be this guy though. Resting my mech. Um. Standing by. I think it should be you. Oh shit! Thank you for flashing. Got it. Get you down here. Full speed, no target. So this thing. I'm not gonna fire anybody else. Let's get out of here. Not give, let's not give that guy anybody else to shoot for. I could have used my I could use the ping here, but it's kind of cheating, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, where we got left here? Good to go. All right, Igor. Affirmative. It said the Kodiak could punch for over 200 and something damage or something. Oh, that's why he's not shooting. Orders. That makes perfect sense. He doesn't have the ability to. Waiting for orders. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. I probably destroyed enough of his heat sinking that he had aye no aye. ability to uh, to sink Picking the heat that he had. Dance. I should just turn and kill that guy first in front of him, just to let him know he's the last mech alive. Are you still? I mean. The splash damage has been good. The battle's been good so far. I haven't been able to pinpoint everything on one location yet, so... Of course, now that I said that. See ya. There he goes. Receiving you. Keeping my heat low. Okay, where's Rose? Okay, not you. Yes, Commander. Keeping my heat low. 
I hope we don't Anyone lose else? the, uh... I'm receiving you. The bandit. Okay, you're still out of range. Let's get you close for next turn. Acknowledged. Because I want to punch just to see how much damage we can do with this thing. Battle mech power up detected. Whoops. Power up then shut down. Alright, we're just going to reserve everybody till we get to Rose. There you go. I'm here. Okay. So the guy hasn't moved, so the chance to hit is ridiculously high. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was as much as I as it said. I think it just depends. So we kicked the leg out from under it. I think so. So that was 101. Yeah, see? That's two attacks in my mind. Reporting critical hit. Two turns of attacking. Because I was able to fire all my arm weapons and everything there. Oh well. There it goes. Mission successful. Alright, well we didn't make much money up with that, but that's alright. I had 8 million a little while ago, it's all gone now because I blew it on fixing and uh, upgrading mechs and stuff, so. Uh, okay, what do we got here for parts? Now, I don't think, well, I mean, we could grab some parts of a Nidhogg. So this guy's got AOE Rocket 20, Heavy Rocket Launcher 20s, Tandem, Snub Nose PPC, Bomb Racks. This guy had Gauss Rifle, ATGM Pack, and two AMS Flares. Then there's the Padilla, 75 ton arrow. Is this a hover? Because it moves 5.8. I think it is it wheeled. Where does it say? Tracked. Okay, so it's neither of those two. <laughs> AMS aero system. Yeah. So the Perseus. So this guy was similar to the Ryan. Um Lightweight Endo Steel, 300 engine, 14 tons of armor, 12 double heat sinks. I mean, uh, it's all right, I guess. Not a big deal. Stern Blitz Assault Tank. How often are we going to see these? Oh, wow, no armor on the rear. But it's only got one AC-20? That's it? For 75 tons? Really? Slower than the medium tank. Oh, it doesn't s tell me what it is. Okay, well. What do we got down here? Bolt on AMS. Those are always really good. I don't have any right now. Because if I can't get an AMS on a mech, it's nice to have those. Heavy rocket launcher 20s. We've got two of these already. Yeah, see. So the heavy rocket launcher 20 fires 20 rockets times 12 damage, right? It's the same rockets that are fired, fired to the Katyusha. I'm sure I'm butchering the name. Missiles have four hit points, but the other ones have one hit point, right? And it's two tons. So nine of these are 18 tons. And it's 20 tons for the launcher, but zero heat. The heat from this is 27. So, I mean, you tell me if that shoulder mounted is not a bit of a cheat. I don't know. I still think it is. We're going to use it. I'm probably only going to use it to delete uh, super hard mechs to kill. But that's just, that was just brutal. I think I got lucky when it shot at me because I was facing directly at it. And it splashed all over the place. Sniper rifle. 10 ton handheld. What's the range? 930. 20 damage, 10 heat. That's not bad. Oh, wait, is that 10? Yeah. Recoil of 2. Interesting. Snub those PPC. I'm going to drop it in there just for now because it's nice to have backups for weapons that I find, that I find hard to get. So we've got a triple snub nose PPC. Well, no, that's in the other playthrough. 
But still, though, 60 damage for, th for 30 heat is pretty good. Six tons. We're going to grab that. Claws. Do I want to build a Kodiak into a melee mech? 0.5 tons. I don't know. It's tempting. A lot of XL engines in there. Yeah, we're on our last legs for fire control systems, too. I had a hard time getting one for the Kodiak. Uh, heavy Pharaoh. We got zero. Lower melee punch. Plus two accuracy for punches. Tracker sensors. Yeah, we were having a hard time finding stuff for these. Slick sweets. These things are really nice too. Man, it's a lot of good stuff here. Double quantity of AMS ammo. Oh, we got two of these already. Never mind. <laughs> and six regular. Ah, the difference in playthroughs, man. Goss rifle ammo. Shape charge. I don't know. I don't know what to take. Maybe tracker sensors in a slick suite? Um... These are zero tons. Let's take those. And maybe the Heavy Pharaoh. Because I think I can put that in the Kodiak as well. Which will give me a little bit more weight uh, room to work with weight wise. Gonna throw that in there for now. I think that's what we'll go with. And then, because I mean there's nothing in here that's really like exciting me at the moment. So I'll take these. Okay, Corsair, Gladiator, and Padilla tank parts. AMS Flare. Uh, I've already got... I'm just going to sell that one. Uh, sniper Rifle. 10-ton handheld. I don't think I'm going to waste my 10 tons on that. I mean, there's a chance to do critical. It's a Gauss Rifle, but... Minimum range. It just uses up a slot that I, I don't want to be using by something like that. 300 core, we've got one. We'll hang on to that one as a backup. We don't need the heat sinks. We've got an extra heavy Pharaoh. Nice. Basic sensors. So we didn't get much out of that. How much is a large pulse worth? 410. I guess we'll hang on to it for now. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but we'll hold on to it. All right, well, that's going to bring the long fight with the Reapers to a close. Um, I guess there was no other, not, no other outcome other than vic victory for us. Um... So what I'm planning on doing, I think, for the next little bit, so the last few episodes, we're dropping, like, we're doing, like, high skull missions and stuff, and we're dropping a whole bunch of guys. Um, we are, um, the missions are actually taking a lot longer, and I'm still planning on doing longer missions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the, um, the uh, Red Reapers, sorry, I'm going to break down <laughs> the Dragons, Rejects, and the Nikons into different lances, we're going to split the lances up and put them on the board as different lances. We're going to run through like shorter playthroughs probably Monday to Friday. So we'll be taking like, you know, uh, so for instance, it'd be Night Gaunt's um, A, lan like, uh, uh, A star, B star, C star kind of thing. And we'll run shorter um, uh, episodes with smaller guys against, you know, reasonable targets. So uh, hopefully like three to four skull missions with one lance of... of five max plus a vehicle right and we'll split them up on the board um and then at the end of the week we'll we'll, we'll come together with a larger match where i'll i'll, I'll bring in you know the eight max and, and if we can get four vehicles and we'll bring four vehicles and we'll take a lot of five skull mission with everybody so that is going to be kind of the goal um and i kind of i, I don't really have a hundred percent of what i want to do for the next scenario like the next little bit of this scenario but i'm working on that right now so um, hopefully I'll have something, <laughs> you know, uh, next week sometime. Um, but uh, the next couple of episodes will be um, the um, Urban Mex, probably Friday, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. And then we're going to actually you know what tomorrow we'll do. Tomorrow we will do um, the Backyard Hooligans because I do have new mechs in that. Like the Swordsman's a melee mech now. So we want to 
check out how the new loadouts are working and, and we'll get those guys into play and then Friday I'll run an Irby mech and then the, the following week we'll set up a new uh, playthrough. So I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comments section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.